Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a cleaning video for you guys. Um, so we haven't cleaned this PC in about three years just because of a syndrome called laziness. And we decided to finally give it a go and see if we gain any frames per second, any cooler temps, and pretty much any gains to actually cleaning your PC. Um, as you can see, we are testing these theories on GTA 5 and Rainbow Six Siege respectively. Um, we were getting on a low 62 degrees Celsius. Um, and just on idle 40 degrees Celsius on the CPU and we were getting 50 frames per second on GTA 5 and 70 frames per second on Rainbow Six so as you can see here we are doing this on a cool master storm trooper case um, again it hasn't been cleaned in a couple of years or three years I should say uh, and it's filthy in there um, the chassis fans have dust, the PSU has dust, the mobile has dust, pretty much dust and a bunch of other things in this case. Um, so we decided to finally get to it. So we're using Lysol wipes, a couple Phillips head screwdrivers, an air duster and a vacuum. We decided to start off with the air duster to try to get rid of any surface dust that we could. Um, it was relatively ineffective just because of how much dust had accumulated on the inside the case already. Um, but we still decided to give it a give it a go. Um, just a heads up, we did use a couple of light, a few Lysol wipes, as you can see. Um, again, as you can see, we only use these Lysol wipes on the bottom of the case, the pretty much on the chassis, the chassis fans, and the PSU. So um, we took off the chassis fans while cleaning the case, um, just because it was a bit easier to actually get into the case, clean it, and as well as clean the fan blades. Um, the radiator as well, we took off, we dismounted it from the back of the, the computer chassis, and uh, that was filthy, absolutely filthy. We recommend you probably clean your computer case at least once a year, at least we're going to be doing that from now on after seeing this. Um, as you can see, the radiator has tons of dust on it. Um, pretty much that was the, the I, I feel that was the most uh, gains just cleaning that alone uh, however of course cleaning your entire computer is definitely gonna be um, a positive thing for you so uh, here we are just taking out the dust catching vents um, as I like to call them uh, you can see that the back two uh, actually did get quite a bit of dust uh, on them uh, the front one not so much as you can see as we're pulling it out right now it did not catch uh, as much I think it's mainly because the chassis fans we were uh, just blowing that dust towards the back of the computer but it's uh, not a big deal we quickly just vacuumed this uh, ran the vacuum over it I mean it was the fastest way to clean it and we were able to get it done as, as you can see in like a couple minutes um, just to quickly vacuum the front back just give it a quick shake and then we vacuumed the front panel pieces as well and this case has these uh, about I think six or eight of them uh, just in the front of the case um, here you can see the before and after as you can see there's a big difference um, it's a very very big difference there was dust everywhere prior to cleaning and after cleaning it pretty much looks like an immaculate new computer um, brand new from the factory uh, which is not the case as you can see we we uh, been using this computer for quite some time and yeah so this is pretty much the end product of the computer being cleaned um, we did see some gains from this cleaning project as you can as you may call it uh, we gained about 80 uh, sorry 10 frames per second so 80 frames per second now on Rainbow Six Sage respectively so about a 10 a 7 to 10 frames per second gain um, on Rainbow Six we also noticed that the CPU temperatures dropped about uh, 2 to 4 degrees Celsius respectively depending on what we were exactly running um, which means you have a higher chance of uh, overclocking to a higher amount just because you have a little more leeway in the temperature of your CPU um, unfortunately on Grand Theft Auto 5 we did not see that much frames per second gain we, we saw about 2 to 3 frames per second but again we did see about a 2 to 3 uh, sorry 2 to 4 degree um, temperature drop in the CPU so overclocking is a lot better uh, now that it's, uh, the computer is clean um, I hope you guys like this video be sure to subscribe like comment dislike if you want <laughs> uh, have a good one guys